Welcome Aquarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. So let's get right into your reading. So let's go ahead and see who is this person that you're connected to in love. What does spirit want to bring forth in regards to your person's energy? What do we need to know about your person at this time? Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Aquarius in love. Thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so I have a feeling like your person isn't doing so well. And uh, honestly, I think that, you know, this person may have options. Like, I feel like, you know, it's not just you. There could be another person involved. Um, this person may portray that, you know, they're well off or well to do. But um, there's something that they haven't ended. Okay. Um, I feel like they've lost um, some money. Okay, um, that's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I see that there is a delay in a person who is getting out of a marriage. Um, but I really feel like if they're losing money, it's possibly because they're actually going through it. So what I'm hearing is that if your person is in some sort of relationship, it's not over yet, but it will be. Okay, it's just it takes time, money. Um, they're not feeling very good. So um, that's what I'm feeling. Um, let's see what else is going on because I'm actually feeling this energy from your person. Like, it doesn't feel very good. So, Sperry, can you please reveal to me what is the energy or vibration of the person that is connected to? Aquarius and love. Let me go ahead and cut this. We have creation, growth, and destiny in reverse, and also faith. Your person's lost of faith because they lost all their money. Okay. They're trying to get out of a marriage. Um, and like they used to be uh well to do. Now, um, They've lost so much, okay? And also, maybe uh, this person's financial situation isn't growing as as good as it used to, okay? Again, I'm just getting like this whole financial vibe for, for everyone uh, for today. I don't know if that's what's on the minds of my air signs, but um, it's definitely in regards to the person that you're dealing with. Now, I see her creation. Your person has the ability to create um, their way of getting out of this energy. I have a feeling like the reason why they're in bad health is because of work and about new beginnings and about this person's stability. Your person really needs to like take to, uh, take the time out to, um, to let's say take a spiritual bath. Do you see that, guys? There is a ball right there. It looks like a bath bomb. So yeah, today is the full moon. Make sure you take your spiritual baths, right? That's what I'm seeing. Also, we have destiny, but it's in reverse, and we have the coffin. It's not over yet, okay, with whoever that they're dealing with. 
So they really don't feel like, I don't know. This person is like, you know, feeling very negative about their situation. It's like, you know, they're losing so much. Things aren't going the way that they planned. They're starting to lose their faith. They're losing their money. They're losing their shit. Okay. I think that that's uh, the perfect word um, to describe what your person is going through. They lost it. Okay. Let's see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy and vibration of the person that is connected to Aquarius? How do they currently think? How do they feel? What is their intent and what is the outcome? What is the energy and vibration that wants to show up in this reading towards the sign of Aquarius? Let's see. So I see here a uh, six of pentacles and it's coming up here in reverse. And I just feel like your person doesn't feel very good. You know, I feel like they're kind of torn and making a decision and um, they really want to reconcile with you. You know, they're not feeling very good right now because things are kind of delayed. And because of the third party, um, they have to offer a sense of security towards that situation. So if your person is married or, uh, I don't know, in a relationship or situation, they really feel obligated to take care of the karmic, okay? I feel like it's because they've already established a relationship with them and um, they feel like they can't do it anymore, but they still feel this obligation to do so. I have a feeling like... Uh, maybe next year, okay, which is like a few weeks away, um, they definitely want to make an offer, okay, so there is an ending of a cycle, um, so they're finally put like the situation to rest, and they are manifesting, okay, your person definitely wants to come through because they keep thinking about you and the times that you guys have shared, um, they're no longer, you know, letting this thing hold them back, in fact, they're walking away from the karmic, um, but there is a setback here, okay? They feel like they can't end it right away. I'm also getting that, you know, they, they're probably cold towards you. Or maybe they're not talking. You know, they want to know, would you give them another chance? But I don't know if it's you that's the one that's giving them a cold shoulder, but um, it's because of kids. So the only reason why that your person is staying in a situation is because possibly it's because of the holidays. They have children with the karmic. Um, if they're in a marriage, they're planning to get a divorce. I definitely do see that they are planning to do all of that. Um, but the only reason why that they're sticking around is because of the holidays. Okay. After the holidays, I feel like your person is going to move things forward. Now, I see that they've been watching you and, you know, they're hiding something here that they're not happy. Maybe they're not happy because they're seeing something that, I don't know, maybe you're doing something else. You know, um, they they can't even express how they feel because um, they, they don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. And I see that they were torn and making a decision about holding on. And I feel like this is holding on to the karmic. But, you know, what I'm hearing is that it really stresses them out because they're holding on doesn't mean that they're holding on to them. They're just holding on for the kids, okay? I don't, I don't really get that your person is into the other person, the adult or whoever, the baby's mama or baby's daddy. It's nothing like that. It's strictly just for the kids. And then after that, they're done, okay? Um... Yeah, I see that they're patiently waiting here and they're making plans so they can be with you possibly within two months. So this could be around your birthday. Okay, so let's see. 
Yeah, I see that they're really struggling right now and they just don't want to fight. They want to tell you the truth that, you know, this is why, you know, they're not approaching you. How they're feeling is that they feel left out. Like nobody really cares about them, but they have to care about everybody else, right? They have to, uh, you know, care about your feelings. They have to care about the karma, maybe the kids. And I see that, you know, they feel like they need to come in and explain themselves. And they're, they're losing their shit, okay? That's why I keep getting. For some, you may be dealing with a Taurus. I mean, not a Taurus. I mean, it could be a Taurus, uh, but what I saw there was um, Sag. Now, their intention is to really be a provider. Um, you know, they have empathy. They have um, compassion towards their children. I have a feeling that um, within three weeks, okay, they're going to be thinking about what their next steps will be, okay? But for right now, they're just being a parent, okay? I really feel like I'm speaking to those where there's already like children, okay, in the mix, so in the outcome, okay, they, they're holding back their feelings, you know, their ego is actually getting away because something must have happened. I feel like they're, they're working on freeing themselves and they need time. So this is the thing. And I've been feeling this, I think, with the last ring I did for you, Aquarius, there is a particular person who really wants to get out of a previous connection and okay, care their current connection the only reason why they're staying around is because of kids okay um if your person doesn't have kids it might be enough for another small reason but that's what i'm seeing and by i want to say your birthday your person is going to try and make it out to you it's just it's the holidays and Maybe this is the last time they're going to have to do this, you know, before they can break free from the karmic situation. I'm not getting any, any kind of romantic vibes coming from your person. They're, they're just frustrated. Like they don't even like, you know, where they're at. That's what I keep getting. So let's see, what is their deeper desire? Okay. Yeah, they want to travel with you. I want to take you uh, far away and make love in exotic places and also wrapped up legs wrapped up pushing deeper there's nobody else i want by my side so yeah they want to travel and get wrapped up <laughs> and they have this dilemma let's do it all night all day so your person is pent up and ready for you if you can hold out for a couple months that, that's what i have so let's go ahead and see what is the the guidance. So Spirit, what is the guidance that you have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What is the guidance that you have? Thank you, Spirit. We have re regeneration. Let's see what that's all about. It's a number 46. It says rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. The Oracle messages, second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic and stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as failure or loss is now being replaced by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into the new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. So I really feel like if there was a person of your past and you didn't think that it would ever uh, come back to life, really rethink that relationship. I feel like someone is going to be popping up anytime now. Okay. So here's the relationship message. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after, after loss. And in this moment, you are radiating 
the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now's the time when you will see the evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising to greet you. So this is really positive if you really want this person, Aquarius. Um, there's a renewal of love. And that's what I have. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IEG as Scorpion Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.